as promised, we're going to take a look at the Arduino Nano Every versus the Arduino Nano, I think it's V3, and we'll get the Nano ready to run. Hey, what's happening guys? Today we are going to get this Arduino Nano Every, which is the uh, latest Nano board from Arduino, up and running in the IDE. But we're also going to take a look at the standard V3 Nano and kind of uh, compare and contrast them. And to make that a little bit easier, I went ahead and got this information here. So if we look, the regular Nano uses the uh, Atmega 328. The Every uses the Atmega 4809. They're both ABR architecture. They both run on 5 volts. The regular Nano has 32 kilobytes of flash memory. The Nano Every, I'm just going to call it the Every, has 48K. The Nano has 2K of SRAM. The Every has 6K. Nano runs at 16 megahertz. The Nano runs at 20. They each have 8 analog end pins. The EEPROM on the Nano is 1 kilobyte. Look at that. It is 256 kilobytes. That's a huge difference on the Every. Now here's one where the Nano can hold more is in DC current on the I.O. pins 40 milliamps versus 20 milliamps. Now on input voltage they both need a minimum of 7 volts. I mean, you can run them on 5. This one will go up to 21 uh, volts. Uh, they, they're pin compatible. They each have 22 pins. PWM output on the Nano is uh, 6 different pins. On the Every is 5. Power consumption, we haven't tested it on the uh, Every yet. We will. And PCB size, they are exactly the same. Now here's something I really don't like about the Every. There are no pin numbers on the top of the board. They are printed on the bottom, which makes them somewhat difficult to read. There's also a difference in the connector, which I do like. It uses the uh, micro USB as opposed to the mini USB. So let's go and set this up in the Arduino IDE and get it ready to roll. All right, to set up the Arduino Nano Every in the Arduino IDE, and I'm using version 1.8.9, it says we need to go to Tools and then board boards manager and we need to add this one in here the mega AVR board so let's do that okay it wants to install a driver we can trust Arduino So we'll let that roll through here and see what happens. All right, all said and done, that took about two minutes to complete. We will close that. And I'm going to plug in the, uh, the Every. It says that Windows should recognize it and install the device driver. We'll see what happens. So it found it. It says it's on COM19. So if we go to Tools, Board, there it is, the Nano Every. Tools, Port, COM19. And we will open up... Uh, the basics of the basics will open up blink there's blink and you can see down here Arduino Nano Every on COM19 we will send it to the Every and we'll see what happens Alright, 
it looks like it's about done compiling it is now updating so it's done cannot locate flash and boot memories hmm I can't quite tell if it did it because Blink was already installed on here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the timing here. We'll make this turn on for a half a second and off for a second. We'll recompile that and see what happens. Hmm. Honestly, I still can't tell. And here comes the train. All right, so now I'm going to go on for a half second and off for two seconds. That should give me enough of a uh, switch to be able to tell what's happening here. Load it. Yes. It is now working. So I don't know what this error down here is angry about, but it is working. All right, let's try something else. All right. So if we take a look at this here, you can see the different ports on the board. And it says it is 100% pin compatible with the Nano. So we're going to find that out. Here's a Nano running a simple sketch. Uh, these LEDs are connected to pins 2, 3, and 4. Okay, and that's all they're doing is turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. So we'll pull out this Nano. This breadboard is a little tight. And we'll put in the Nano Every. And we'll plug it in. Then I'm going to hop on over to the computer. And we will compile that same program for the Nano Every. All right, so it is compiling right now and it is uploading and it's done uploading hmm now you see pin number four is not coming on right now let's hop over to the computer for a second Okay, so one of the things that's said in the documentation that we can do here is we can have turn on the uh, register emulation, which is already on, and it's not working. So let's turn it off, and then we will re-upload that code, and we'll see what happens. This might take a minute. No, or not. Uploading. And. Hmm. 
Nothing. Two, three, four, two, three, four, two, two, three, three, four, four. Okay, so the next thing we do is we check the continuity on that pin. All right. Let's see if we've got continuity between our pins. Yes. So we have continuity between there and the LED. Yes. Hmm. Let's swap back in the old Nano. These lovely, cheap-ass Chinese breadboards. They're so much fun. Alright. So that's working. I guess the next thing we need to figure out is there's a pin problem. So that pin D4, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pins from the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's this pin that my thumb is under. Can you tell what the hell it says? All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Did I do that wrong? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't read what it says, but it looks like, yeah, D4. So just make sure I got them lined up properly. That one with the white mark is the ground. All right. Okay, that uh, confuses the heck out of me. 
Now it seems to be working just fine. Must have just been a bad connection. <laughs> Crazy. I, I still wish it said what the pins were on top of here. But that is the Arduino Nano Every. It is $13 from Amazon. Now that may seem like a lot, but an actual Arduino Nano, not a Chinese knockoff, but an actual Arduino Nano is $19.90. So the new Nano is actually um, quite a bit less expensive and you can generally get better specs. But again, I hate the fact that they haven't printed what the pins are on top of the board. That's just me. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, we are at 93,300 subscribers. When we get to 100,000 subscribers, another thing I'll be giving away is an Arduino Nano Every. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. All right, that's it. I'm out. Peace.